You gonna let me in? You have to invite me across the threshold. That is such a mental rule. Who made that up? Uh, there's one vampire rule that I read about that I really, really liked. This idea that vampires can only cross a threshold if they're invited in. It's great because it's just absurd. It's one, that's one of the wonderful, this kind of like the Victorian element of it, the kind of like, the manners and the kind of etiquette. We tended to kind of cherry pick the rules that we wanted, um, depending on you know, depending on how it would impact on the story. But for example, things that are uh, vampires having no reflection. Now, when I talked to Matt about Matt, the producer, about this, and said, "Yeah, I think we, you know, we should we should keep that." Of course, all he just thought, "Oh God, production-wise, this is a nightmare." Consequently, every time Mitchell walks down the street, he can't be, you know, what about his reflection in a car window and things like that? And I thought, "Yeah, but I really want to do it." He can be seen in anything but silver-backed things. So he, he, he can't be seen in things like uh, mirrors. Uh, his image can't be uh, uh, captured by cameras. Um, but he will be reflected by things like windows because we, could, we clearly didn't have the budget to start painting him out. What other things? He loves garlic. He uses garlic all the time to, to, to cook with. I mean, I think that's fantastic. decided that um, even though Mitchell wouldn't like sunlight, it wouldn't be lethal to him. Because again, that would make just the storytelling an absolute nightmare. We could only do night scenes and so on. And also, this whole idea of him wanting to um, live a kind of normal human life, it would kind of make that almost impossible. We kept the sunlight thing, but we just kind of restricted it. That, you know, he's not going to go out in the sun and melt, you know, if, if he sees it and, you know, drop and his costume is left on the floor. You know, that just wouldn't work. I really wanted them to stick to the, to the idea that you couldn't go out at night, at, in the day. I felt that the whole point about the vampires was that um, they were vampires. That, 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 that's what made them different from being humans. I remember in episode two, I've got a couple of scenes where there's a few references to the, like, I have to put my shades back on as soon as I come outside, which I really liked, actually. You are not coming in here. Uh, yeah, I think I am, because I don't think you want this conversation happening on your doorstep. Hiya, how's it going? Oh, for Christ's sake, come in. I think that as time went on, I realised that it was important that those shackles, you know, the traditions of, of vampirism, um, didn't create too many obstacles. The producers and directors didn't want to um, fixate on it. We didn't want it to become just about that, just about steaks and sunlight and teeth. We, we really wanted... Um, it to be normal, we wanted people to be able to connect to them as people. There are always moments in it when you just cannot, you, there is absolutely no doubt in your mind whatsoever that Mitchell, Seth or Herrick or Lauren are vampires. And that's all that, that's all you need to do. You know, you can have your doubts, you can have your, you know, you can question it, but ultimately there'll be times when you go, oh man, that really is a vampire. It's not so alone. Do you know what I mean, Mitchell? It was... Mitchell? Mitchell, are you okay? Your hand's shaking. 